Welcome to Spiritually Raw. We expose and explore controversial truths, myths, and theories surrounding the spirit world. Guests include QAnon experts, investigators, debunkers, and skeptics of the supernatural, unexplained, and flat-out unimaginable. Content discussed on this show is not necessarily the opinion of the cast of Spiritually Raw, and topics quite often are for mature audiences only. This show is not intended to replace any medical, financial, or legal advice, and is for entertainment purposes only. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. During these crazy times, people are always asking us, what do we do to stay calm, focused, vibrant during the day, and sleep peacefully at night? For the past two years, we've been taking raw CO2 extracted CBD oil and paste daily from a company called Beautiful Earth Organics. They utilize the best extraction methods to make their products with the cleanest and the highest potency it can be, along with the highest standards of testing and organic philosophies. The results we receive are extraordinary, and the mind-blowing healing and health and wellness testimonials speak for themselves. If you're searching for a holistic organic remedy that works for pain, illness, and a better quality of life, and frankly, the fountain of youth, check out earthorganiccbd.com and make sure to add the code SRAW15 at the checkout and receive an additional 15% off. If you have any questions about how CBD can give you a better quality of life or work with your current health regimen, just text or call them and use your code SRAW15. Go to earthorganiccbd.com. Again, that's earthorganiccbd.com. This is not intended to replace any medical advice. Hello, everybody. How are you? And welcome to Spiritually Raw. Thank you so much for your energy exchange with us today. We hope you woke to the most miracle morning and are also having the most fortunate day today. So listen, we have, we're really excited here to have Elena Denon. I hope I'm pronouncing that right with us today. And April's going to tell you a little bit about her in just a moment. I do want to remind you, uh, wherever you're watching this video, kindly hit the subscribe button and also uh, turn on the notification bell so you are notified when we actually put the videos up. And there's a notification bell right there. There's a notification bell right there, everybody. <laughs> so also too, don't forget to share it too. And all, we also have the new channel, which is going to be links everywhere for you. It's called the Collective Super Channel. And that's a group of patriots that have really come together to really help everybody in this effort as far as censorship and really getting the word out. So all of you can have this great, great chance of having a great existence during this great awakening okay so i hope that works out well for you so thank you very much and don't forget us on spirituallyraw.live that's where you get our exclusive content and you can check that out three days on us okay so enjoy that experience yep. so you want to make sure to um also um go to youtube the collective super channel make sure you um, hit the notification bell and please do subscribe but you're going to be noticing we're moving we're going to be slowly not even slowly we're going to be rapidly removing ourselves from uh, the videos from page from uh from youtube we're just going to be putting up little snippets and then um all of our shows are going to be going on oogtube spiritually raw and oogtube the collective um super channel and again all of the links will be in the um, in the show description. So if you start seeing our videos and maybe they're looking a little different, they might be shorter and the titles might look really boring and the uh, images might not look like they normally look, it's because of the censoring. So we have to be super uber careful in our text, in the images, things that we're saying on YouTube. So that's why we're moving everything to OogTube. So uh, just to kind of keep you give everybody a heads up, but all the links will always be in the show descriptions. All right, cool. All good? Can we get that out of the way? <laughs> I think got out of the way. All right. <laughs> Let's talk about our future guest today. Yeah, Elena. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so much fun. She was born in France. She worked as a field archaeologist for 20 years, mainly in Egypt. She completed her studies in Judaism, shamanism, energy healing, and sound healing. Now this is where, this is going to be really cool. She was abducted as a child by great aunt, she's going to tell us all about her story, by um, great aliens and rescued in the process by the Nordics, with whom Elena kept contact all of her life, actually until this day. They taught her a great amount of knowledge, which she uses every day to help humanity step into its sovereignty and rights to its legitimate future. Gotta love that. She wrote the book of her experience. It's also an Amazon bestseller, A Gift from the stars you want to hold it hold it up real quick because i know you have it right next to you <laughs> a gift from the stars i love it alien races yeah, that's cool um and you can get all of her information we're going to have her website you can get her books at amazon and barnes and nobles we'll have everything in the show description and also check out her website right on, at right. elena d-a-n-a-a-n dot 
org. All right, everybody. Org. org. Yes, yep. org. So join me, everybody, and welcome to the Atlanta Big Show. How are you, Elena? I'm very fine. Thank you. I'm very excited to be invited on your show. And uh, I, I think you will have a, a lot of fun. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure we will. So let's get, let's get everybody to get to know you, if we may, and just kind of dive right in. So your abduction that you talked about. So how old and how did it happen? Well, um, I have I have had two adep- two abductions that um, I remember has as a child. Um, one was at the age of a toddler, and this was this abduction was performed by uh, benevolent aliens who look after me. And uh, and the second abduction was at the age of nine, and this is what this wasn't benevolent at all. It was the grays, the small grays, and it was part of their um, hybridization agenda. And bad things have been done to me, and that's when I was rescued. That's when you were can, rescued. Can we go to the? Yes. Can we go back to the first one? The benevolent um, one. The benevolent, yeah. Um, and just if I, you're like me, benevolent even, is a good one, right? Yeah, benevolent. Yes, is the one. benevolent is yes. a good one. Okay, yeah. I, I really can't even imagine being abducted by anything at that age ever. I mean, it has to be beyond the realm of frightening. When, how did it happen? When did you remember it? And did you tell anyone? Yes. Yeah, so, um, I've had all my life this memory as I was a toddler. Uh, to be in my my child bed my coat with um, bars and uh, my grandmother uh, who I know later on was as well abducted by benevolent aliens the same ones anyway my grandmother was reading to me a bedtime bedtime story and behind her I saw coming out of the wall a, a small gray alien and uh, I totally freaked out of course because they they look they look very scary but these ones were um, I didn't know at the time uh, benevolent and um, so but I was frightened and you know the, the memory uh, remembers the emotions uh, m- more powerfully than the images so to my memory this gray alien was like horribly scary and my next memory was me lifting above, uh, physically lifting above my, my bed. And there was a, a shower of blue light coming from the ceiling and I was lifting in it and I was paralyzed. Mm. Thir- third memory, I was back in my bed, paralyzed and numb. And I could start to move my, feel my body again. And... I saw the, the daylight, it was the morning, the night had passed and I start crying and shouting. And I remember I wasn't able to, to speak yet to form words. So I mm-hmm. couldn't explain that. So recently, last year, um, because I underwent uh, through the, the unexpected <laughs> process of awakening and activation. And um, uh, I thought, uh, the moment was right to uh, have all my memory back, and um, I I did quantum hypnosis. I found a quantum hypnotherapist, hmm. which is specialized in alien abductees, and she is absolutely wonderful. And she helped me get all my memory back for everything. Wow! So re- regarding to this toddler abduction. When I went back there uh, through quantum hypnosis, which is amazing, um, <laughs> and I was lifted uh, on board a ship, and these small gray. I'm aliens, sorry. So, did did you remember this through hypnosis? Were you under hypnosis? Yes. You were. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. So that's now the the total story under hypnosis. So um, I was lifted up in this beam and when you are in this beam of light it's like if you shift density or you you know you you pass through uh materials you mm-hmm. pass through the building through the walls mm. it's very weird uh and then i was in this ship and these um these there were these three uh gray small gray aliens but in fact they were like nurses and they were so sweet and so gentle and so careful with me so caring and they were kind of 
acute now. And that's when I realized that sometimes you have scary glimpses of memories, but it's not always bad abductions. They are both, you know, mm -hmm. that's what I learned. So I was on this ship and they, they took me, they f in fact, they floated me to a table and uh, it was like a bed. It wasn't the cold medical tables the other ones use. Uh, it was like um, kind of soft plastic. And then um, uh, one of them, and I was like, I was a bit numbed, but I think this is, this was due to the beam of light who made this to my body to be a bit numb. Mm -hmm. um, they, one of them, uh, they were so caring. And he, he took a long oblong device, like a pen, and he put it on my chest. And I saw red light pulsing under my, my, my chest like this. And this was warm and it calmed me down. It really calmed me down. And I was, oh. And then I was feeling calm down, no more stress. And came this tall being. He was like a gray. He looked like a tall gray, but his skin was brown and he had wonderful, beautiful eyes that were indigo and with clear blue pupils. Mm. And he was radiating love and gentleness. And he came to me and he checked me out. He, he turned my jaw like this and like this, lift my arms, my hands. He was checking me out. Out, checking me out for to see if I was all right mm -hmm. and he spoke telepathically to me and um, he called me my child and I couldn't understand why he was calling me my child and he was saying everything is going to be okay it's going to be fine and my, my question was why are you calling me my child and uh, he was saying that I have a bit of his DNA in me and then I understood everything was clear through this quantum hypnosis. Everything, my, my mind merged his mind in, and, and I understood everything that there are bloodlines that are picked, which have psychic abilities. My granny had psychic abilities. I was born with great psychic abilities. I'm a shaman. Um, uh, she was one also. And our bloodline from my grandmother's side goes back to a line of shaman women from the Baltic Sea. Hmm. Yes. So he said there are bloodlines that are picked because they have special blood uh, and they are DNA enhanced to uh, help uh, humanity awaken. And these people are going to help humanity awaken. And they, the, because these bodies physical 3D bodies are enhanced, they are able energetically to receive souls from higher density, like star seeds, for instance. Um, because I, I, I know now I'm not from here. Yeah, literally, <laughs> right. You know, so can I do ask- they, Do, do they tell you where they were from? Yes, yes. So uh, this one is, um, they are part of an organization that's called the Council of Five. It's five Council races, five. five very wise races. Uh, he, my protector and um, partly father, <laughs> forefather, I call him, is yeah. an is an Agaroth. Uh, he Ag comes Ag from Agaroth. Agaroth. Yes, E G A R O T H. Got it. From uh, Orion zone, and not everybody's bad in Orion. There are nice planetary systems, and um, and the star system is Mesa. Mesa. So Mesa, yes. Um, so uh, they are this alliance, this organization, this council is very, very, very ancient. Uh, predates many other federation and alliance, and they maintain. They try to maintain balance in the galaxy by helping um, species to uh, to reach their potential. When you so, when you talk about with your bloodline with your forefather, if you would, so when you when you connected there, and then they helped give you a sense of peace, you know, did anybody, you know, one one would think whether you're benevolent or malevolent. If you're abducted, you're abducted, so it's not a good thing, right? So where was anybody was anybody in your family aware that you were taken, or was this something that happened that where nobody were, was able to see it? Maybe your mother, or father, 
Um, did anybody mm -hmm. see you? Was any was anybody see you missing at the time? At and, time? and did you come back with any? thing in on your body that you would have been like well where did that come from a scar or anything? not that time not that time mm -hmm. the other one at nine years old yes i'm going to speak about it in a moment no when i came back um i could see through walls i could i could i could see ghosts i could see stuff i it's like i was activated in you a were way activated. okay yeah i could watch the tv through the wall uh, from my bedroom, uh, my child bedroom to the, in the living room, I can, I, I, it was amazing. It was amazing. Do you so I think, yeah. You still possess that ability to be able to do no. that? So that no, okay, I, so no, I, because I, I freaked out. And mm -hmm. when I be, grew, grew up, I, I could do it again, I'm mm -hmm. sure. But when I grew up, uh, I realized the other kids were not like me. Mm -hmm. So I freaked out. I freaked out and I. And you shut of, it down? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Um, so, um, so is there, is, is there something to the point where people say that, uh, well, everybody's born with that gift from what you're saying, it's that you were your, your specific DNA that was, that was, um, you know, for you, if you would, yeah. your, your lineage was there. So that's, that's more specific. So not everybody's born with that gift, right? Not everybody's born with that gift, but this is the future of humanity. These bloodlines are a little bit in advance. They are a bit, little bit ahead. Uh, they are here to help others and that's the mission I've, I've discovered with me I'm here to help others activate to their own power and be aware of who they are that's what I'm doing every day and um, uh, but it is the future of humanity because what my protectors always say uh, regularly is that humanity must be aware of their own power their DNA is barely used and the potential is like it, it would blow your mind we can we can levitate we can transform matter we have the power to manifest our future we have the power to manifest our reality we have the power to to enhance our own physical body uh, we have the power to grow back our own limbs like if we had a limb it, cut off yes i don't know how to do that mm -hmm. but we, we, we yes, yes so what, yes. Do, what do you think has always been the um for the most for most human beings living on this planet what do you think is is always been the struggle to not be able to accomplish those kind of things that you just mentioned the ability to levitate to be able to maybe to you know just manifest all this just at a whim what do you think is, is there something what's the roadblock yeah what is the roadblock specifically do you think that we run into or as close well, as we can get if in the the ideal conditions we would get there maybe we would get we would be there earlier than now because it's a normal development of a species normal um the uh, activation that goes not anything activates from the start but there's a potential and slowly slowly with evolution the 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 thing gets unlocked that's the normal but now <laughs> that's we are not living in an in ideal um world because right, right. uh there are forces that have invaded our planet and that are tying us down to uh low frequency and who don't want us to activate because they want to maintain us as slaves mm -hmm. and uh yeah and the slaves that they want to maintain us for though they, they those ones are the ones that feed on humanity literally is that right yes or, or are yes we the, are yes we all, yes uh, okay so are we are all on top of being a food source, are we also their worker bees? Oh, everything. There, there are many, many. Uh, now, when we talk about the bad abductions, uh, what I've learned is that there are different uh, uh, purposes. Um, either, for, well, the two main purposes. Uh, no, I'd say the three. Three. Food, slaves, and uh, genetic uh, manipulation. Manipulation. Genetic material. Manipulation. Material. It, Mm. Is there, is there Elena, like, um, so for example, you were abducted by the benevolent and then also the malevolent there. Are, are those, uh, are those considered, maybe are we mistaken? Are those considered maybe the angels and the demons, if you would, maybe people are mistaking them as angels and demons, but they're really yes. these specific races. They are sp specific races, you know, angels and demons. It's, it's our way in certain cultures to explain because we need to explain with the words we know. And uh, the religions are here to give us, words vocabulary and concept that we can refer to but this is only uh, our interpretation our words uh, in truth there are so many races 
um, it's unbelievable. Um, I, I am going to show you in my book the difference because I'm an artist as well and I illustrated it yeah, and I put do. my own drawings. Mm. Um, this is a difference that I drew from uh, the beings, two different greys, the small greys who abducted me. Uh, I, oh, I need to find it. Um, do you think go. the small greys that abducted you, are they the original race? No, no. Um, no, I'm going to, to, tell, to tell you. So these okay. are my drawings. So that's the ones who abducted me when I was a toddler. So the they good, look the, nice. Yeah, the good look, one. Yeah. Their names is Eben. 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 Okay. Eben. Okay. These it, are the bad oh. ones, the other ones mm. that took me at the age of nine. Mm. And these ones are solipsiri. They come from Zeta Reticuli. Oh, there's that Zetekar. What? How do you pronounce it? Zetekar. What is it again? She says it better. Yeah. <laughs> Zeta reticuli. Zeta, Zeta reticuli. Yep, yep, got, got it. it. Okay. Got it. Mm-hmm. It's interesting so, as you got abducted when you were younger, the being was smaller. When you were older, the being was bigger. So it was more. It was more almost related to your age. No, it's a, it was no. a different no, race. I different different race. Different, different race. Different race altogether. Yes, different race, all, to, all different race altogether. Yeah. Yes, okay. yes, okay. yes. So, okay, so now, uh, okay, uh, did anyone notice anything different when you were first abducted? And did you tell anybody? Did you tell your mom or your grandma? I couldn't, okay, I couldn't talk at the time. Oh, right, and by right, the right. time I was able, I had the ability to talk, mm-hmm. uh, it was locked away already mm-hmm. in my, already my mind. I. Uh, my granny, uh, I suspect my granny who passed away now, she couldn't speak. It's a pity. Uh, um, I suspect she knew mm-hmm. she sensed something because she had an experience as well. She told me about it later. So and funnily, my granny was always there when things were happening to me. Mm-hmm. And when this toddler story, when I woke up in the morning uh, and I was screaming uh, in my bed, she, I heard her climbing the stairs and rushing into the bedroom, seeing what was happening. And she was there as well the night before reading me a story. So, and later on, when I was seeing UFOs, she was always with me. And, and uh, that was very interesting. Is, is, interesting. Earth, is Earth that we live in right now, people refer to it as a prison planet or a science project of sorts. Is it that? Yeah, kind of, yes. But um, not created as such, but... Um, invaded mm. invaded okay so when we were born as a human race or when we were come in as a human race then were we are we the are we the lower version of existence uh, you, you know if we're in a prison planet of sorts or so i'm trying to understand like our our well, are we a science project of some other race so uh it's a bit more complex to my understanding is that um we were first a science um, not really a science project. Um, there was there. Are, there's been many um, invasions, and the the I know about the Anunnaki, which were real, and were um, li, uh, reptiloid race, mm-hmm. looking like humans, human like. Well, they are bold. Like they look like tall gray, but with human head, and but they're reptiloid. A lot of grays are reptiloid based. It's, it's interesting. Uh, Anunnaki, I've been, an, Anunnakini, uh, singular, means human-like in their language. That's what I've been told. Okay. Anyway, they came and they, they, they came to mine the resources of our planets, notably gold. And uh, they understand very well, very quickly, that the, um, the kind of primates that were there could help them mining as a workforce. And they enhanced them by a genetic, a genetically uh, breeding them with their, uh, their race uh, to create uh, an enhanced species that they, 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 they use as a workforce, slaves. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But then came all the races and they said, oh, right, I mean, you, don't, you, 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 you have no right to do that to this poor species. No, and so they start to fight. Uh, the Anunnaki left and the other races then went, hmm, it's interesting, by the way, let's, let's, let's see, let's play around with these people as well because that's interesting. And they as well, did other experiments but um yeah and uh 
at a point where they stopped because at the time there were alliance and federation coming together and saying no you don't nobody has the right to do that and now uh, we're going to create laws of non-intervention and blah 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 and then it stopped so we are on earth a mix of many things mm. many things mm -hmm. many other species too yeah many other species yeah. Is, yeah, there some, that, is, yeah. there, is there certain areas around the world that you find that more other types of races are you know for example like more we're prominent. in america you know you know are there certain yeah you mean like I, Russia I, or China? Yeah, somewhere mm -hmm. where they, we would find different races. Yes, yes, yes. I do not know now. Uh, I haven't been told which races uh, are genetically linked with which people. Country, mm -hmm. yeah. But country. But mm -hmm. I know as, a, as an information that I get that, yes, why we are so different. Uh, take a Japanese uh, person and uh, I don't know a Congolese person they're so different um, and there are reasons for that that there are genetic mixes that have been done mm. um, yeah, different types of blood as well mm -hmm. people were referring to this period yeah, we're going through sense. as a great awakening right so they're referring to this period as a great awakening does this yeah. do we have a window of opportunity or is this are we now moving now is it all, all is it all automatically moving or is it a window of opportunity we have to make it right and we have to have it done within this window of opportunity? And those who awaken or can grab it will, will evolve. Those who won't will either revert back or whatever that may be for them. We'd like to share a story. While it may sound fictional, it's very real and happening right now in front of our very eyes. It's called the Great Awakening. Our sisters and brothers that come on Spiritually Raw are doing everything to help expand global consciousness, and in many cases, putting everything on the line to share their messages about what's happening around the world for the greater good of humanity, while exposing the truth of the deep state and the dark forces behind it all. We are living in the most unbelievable times. Some may even say biblical, scary for many and yet exhilarating for others. Together we are taking part in getting everyone acclimated to the Great Awakening process and the exciting new discoveries that lie ahead. The sad part is many of our amazing guests are being heavily censored, socially shamed and outright banned on many platforms for exposing the truth and piercing the veil. By becoming a viewer, you bring your powerful energy towards this global movement of other truth seekers. If you're resonating with our show, please let us know by hitting the like button, sharing, subscribing, turn on the notification, and leave some comments. Together, we will turn the universal key to global harmony and create a unified world. And remember, tune in often, tell all your friends, and most importantly, may all your dreams come true. Thanks and God bless patriots worldwide.